Hey friends, welcome to today's video. You might notice from the title that I have some exciting news to share, a new product launch from BK Beauty, and I am really, really excited to share this video finally, sitting down and filming this. A little backstory with this particular launch. We actually were gonna launch this product back in April. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below so you can go follow me there. But in, in March, we had a photo shoot. I was teasing in stories at the photo shoot. We had all these beautiful models. It was kind of like our biggest photo shoot that we had done yet with BK Beauty. And I was so excited about it and I was teasing it, saying something new was coming and I was so excited. And then crickets, nothing happened. And I got some messages from you guys like, what happened to that launch? And I had to say tight-lipped. But basically we were going to launch in April. Um, at the last minute we decided to really fine-tune and perfect it and tweak it a little bit just to get it perfect. So we made the difficult decision back then to halt and um, launch, you know, at a later date. And that date is this Tuesday. We're going to be launching on bkbeauty.com. Our first collection of lipsticks and Everlast lip liner. So we're going to have five shades of lipsticks and four shades in the lip pencil. Now I'm going to get into, you know, the color names, the swatches, and show you all of that. Just I want to speak a little bit about kind of my inspiration for these uh, shades and this product. Uh, I wanted to create a lipstick that was very luxe and beautiful. And you'll see that in the packaging of the lipstick. It is just heavy in the hand hand. It's very luxe feeling. You know, I feel like lipstick for me is just a very like luxury piece. You know, it's something that you carry in your makeup bag, you put it in your purse, you take it out throughout the day, you reapply maybe at lunch or, you know, at the office. And it's just a, a piece of cosmetics that you use throughout the day several times. And I wanted you to have that experience of something that you love, something that makes you feel good when you reach in your bag and pull it out. So I really took time into, you know, choosing the right component. I wanted to be a certain weight. I wanted to be a certain size. I wanted the shape of the lipstick bullet to feel sophisticated and elegant. To me, applying lipstick is a very like sophisticated, elegant, intimate way of applying makeup. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the lips, but I just feel there's a certain feeling I get when I apply a lip product that I that makes me feel good. And I wanted to create that feeling in this product. Now, I chose five shades. You know, BK Beauty, we are a small self funded brand here at BK Beauty, you know, it's Paul and I. And, you know, so we had to limit our shades. We are launching with five shades. I wanted to pick some easy everyday go-to shades, kind of like your everyday neutral shades in a variety of like pink and beige and kind of peachy tones. And then I do have one shade that I feel is kind of an introduction into a red. It's not quite a red, but it's basically like if you're, if you're a nude lover of lipsticks and you want to incorporate some color and have a little bit more, um, what's the word classy sophistication to the lips this shade of red i think is a great easy introduction these shades all are so easily changed by the lip liner that you use so don't feel like the shade in the lipstick can't be manipulated to be darker or more brown or you know more pink or more peach or more red you can totally change the shade of the lipstick with your lip liner that was something that i remember being taught to me when i worked at mac cosmetics it was actually my trainer my boss her name was christine stafford she actually did a video with me on my channel. I'll link it down below. She taught me so many things. And one of the things she taught me is that your lip liner can really, you know, as a makeup artist, we can't take our whole, you know, beauty room with us on set, right? We have to pare down a kit that gives us as many options as possible. And that was her tip. She said, find a few lipsticks that you can manipulate with lip liner and change the color. And that's what I did. And that's what I had in mind when I created this collection of lipsticks, because even though we're small and, you know, we could only launch with these initial five shades up front, I wanted them to be versatile. I wanted everybody to be able to use them, you know, to be able to create the looks that they want from them. And the same goes for the lip liners. You know, we have four shades of lip liners and there is some variety in the lip liners because I felt like I wanted you to be able to have, you know, be able to pair the lip liners and the lipsticks in different combinations to get totally different looks. So let's go ahead and dive in. We will start with lipsticks. So the lipsticks are a very lightweight, creamy, richly pigmented formula. They have apricot oil in it, which really helps hydrate and nourish the lips. They are, of course, cruelty-free, they are vegan, and they are paraben-free. They offer a very smooth consistency, and they give, like, I think the best way to describe the finish is going to be kind of like a semi-matte finish. It's not going to be glossy or really creamy. It's not matte either. It has a hydration to the lips, but it gives you a semi-matte finish. Super weightless. You can build it to get a little bit more color, but 
you're honestly going to get a lot of impact by just one first application. It was really important to me that they feel very smooth and very lightweight. You know, I like to wear gloss and I like to layer gloss on top of my lip product. So I didn't want a lipstick that felt sticky or tacky or heavy already. I wanted you to have the option to pair a gloss over it or leave it if you want just a lightweight finish that feels, you know, rich on the lips. The consistency is really smooth and lightweight. And when you glide it on the lips, it goes on so smoothly, but it's not a thick or a cream or a sticky formula. You know, for someone that likes to layer lipstick and lip gloss, I wanted you to have that option to layer a gloss on top without feeling like you have so much on your lips. So you're really going to feel like it's totally weightless on the lips, yet it feels smooth and hydrating. I also wanted to include this beautiful, soft, subtle angle to the bullet so that it just fits on the lips perfectly and makes application easy and effortless. Okay, so let's get into shades. You'll also notice a theme in the shade names. So if you're not familiar with what BK stands for or where the inspiration was for starting our brand, when I started BK Beauty, I knew I didn't want to have my name on. I didn't want it to be Lisa J Makeup. I wanted to have a bigger mission and purpose behind it. And I have two daughters, Brooklyn and Kate. And I thought to myself, what is the message I want to teach them about beauty? And that is that beauty is kindness. And you know, that's kindness to other people, but it's also kindness to ourselves. You know, I know that it took me many years, decades actually, to be kinder to myself, to give myself grace, to love myself, to accept myself, to appreciate, you know, what I was given. And I just want to, I wanted to reflect that in the shade names. So the first shade that we have is kindness. And kindness is a good old classic peachy nude. This is kind of like a go-to for me. I like a nice warm peachy nude. I also like that this shade is not too light to wash you out, but it's not too dark either. So it's going to give you some flexibility again to manipulate it with a different lip pencil. If you want to go a little bit deeper, grab something that has like more of a deep terracotta lip liner or even something with a little more brown or warmth to it. That'll really, really manipulate the shade of it. If you want to keep it true to what it is, you can skip a lip liner or you can use a lip liner that matches the lips shade or the shade of your natural lips. Next, we have the shade Inner Beauty, which is a neutral medium pink. So this isn't going to be super light. It's not going to be dark. It's kind of going to be middle of the road right there. And it's very neutral. So it's not going to be too peachy or it's not going to be too pinky. It's going to kind of fall right there in the middle of the road. This is a great everyday lip color. I go back to kind of when I was doing wedding makeup and I kind of had that default lip color that I would go to for brides. And this was often it. It really is like your, it's like kind of like my ideal natural lip color, a little rosy, but neutral and natural looking. Next, we have Self Love, which is a pale pink. This is a true, beautiful, kind of pale, pretty pink. This is gonna be the lightest when it translates on the lips out of the collection. It's a really beautiful go-to if you like that neutral pink look. You can definitely deepen it with more of a mauve lip pencil. Um, something that's a little bit more berry will work really well with it. If you are using a lip pencil that is deeper, quite a bit than the lip pencil, my recommendation would be to line the lips, but then also kind of fill and sketch in the lips before applying the lipstick. That's way you're gonna have the best blend between the lip liner and the lipstick. You can even take it a step further and apply lip conditioner on the lip first, then apply your lip pencil, then apply your lipstick. So the lip conditioner, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow that lip pencil to spread a little bit more, kind of activating the pigment in it so that it really melts and blends with the lipstick that you're using. Next, we have Acceptance, which is a beigey pink nude. So think of it as like self-love, but less pink in it and more beige. It's about the same in terms of level of like depth or, or light. It's going to be on the lighter shade of the lipsticks. It's going to give you that kind of true, like muted out beigey pink lipstick. If you think of, I almost think of kind of like a, the 90s muted lip, but modernized. You know what I mean? In style, okay? Um, I would avoid pairing this with a really dark lip liner. I would look for something that has a uh, little bit more warmth if you're trying to deepen the color of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, everyday kind of beigey muted lipstick. And last, we have the shade Passion. And I chose this shade to match with this color because this is kind of like that really deep pink. Um, it's leaning towards kind of stair-stepping into your red lip, but toned down much more. If you want a bold lip, but you never wear color outside of that neutral nude shade, this is a great lipstick to um, ease into. Now, this is also a great lipstick to wear for the evening or the daytime. It's totally appropriate for both. Um, it's also gives you enough color and makes a statement, but doesn't 
makes so much of a statement that it overpowers the look. So, you know, typically when I always do a, like, I don't always do a bold lip, but when I do a bold lip like a red or a deeper lip, I always take into consideration the eye makeup because I don't want to have two features that are competing, right? So my eye makeup would be less, more neutral, softer, and the lip would make the statement. This particular shade is one that you can wear with a lighter eye or you can wear it with a dramatic eye because it doesn't quite cross that like line of a bold lip. Again, you know, you can pair it with a lip liner to tweak and change that. If you want to make it more red, grab a nice rich cherry red lip pencil and it's totally going to give you that look. You can also pair it with a neutral kind of rosy lip pencil if you just want to shape the lips but you don't want to tweak the color of this lipstick. This is kind of my go-to shade for just adding a little bit more color to the face. Also, if you're a, a little trick that if you're really quick on or short on time, I should say, and you have to do your makeup really quick, skipping eyes and doing a bolder lip color is the easiest way to get a full complete look in cutting down the time of your makeup in half. Because if you think about it, our eye makeup takes a lot more time than it does to pop on a lip color. So you can always do that. Light on the eyes, more a little bit more color on the lips, and you look sophisticated, polished, put together. So next we have four shades in the Everlast Lip Liner, which is a richly pigmented, long-wearing lip liner that glides on like a dream and helps create the appearance of smooth, hydrated lips. So let's first talk about the packaging of these lip liners. I wanted to do a mechanical pencil because for me, I find that I never have a sharpener nearby and especially a lip pencil is something that I keep in my purse and I touch up throughout the day. So I needed an easy way to use the product. I didn't want to get caught in a situation where I didn't have a pencil that was ready to go. So I chose a mechanical pencil. I also wanted it to have a little slant to the tip of it versus a really pointy tip. And the reason I wanted to do that is so that it lays on the lips perfectly perfectly and it, it you you almost cannot accidentally apply you know when you see lipstick and you see a really harsh lip pencil and you can see that separation of lip pencil and lipstick and it's not blended well I didn't want that to happen in this shape so this large surface area of the pencil you can see that it's much larger than a pointy tip of a lip pencil right that is so that you can lay it on the lips line the lips and that line is going to get thicker so that when it blends into your lipstick it like feathers in and blends more easily and effortlessly the Everlast lip pencil is super super pigmented it's hydrating it's creamy it's consistent when you apply it. It glides on lips smoothly. It has candelilla wax in it, which is going to help smooth out the lines on lips and just make your lips look a little softer in appearance. This also has shea butter in it, which is going to support a smooth application. So it's going to glide on really easily. It's not going to skip. You're going to have a lot of consistency in it. So the candelilla wax and the shea butter really help create that look of like smooth lips. So if you have a lot of lines or texture on the lips, the candelilla wax really creates the illusion of like a softer, fuller lip. Then I have recommend putting not only the like lining your lips with it but slightly filling in so lining your lips and then really softly maybe sketching in um, your lips maybe leaving the center open and applying your lipstick that way you're ensuring that you're getting the longest wearability out of the lipstick so when the lipstick fades after you eat or drink throughout the day you're still going to have that color from your lip pencil on the lips also too if when the lipstick fades you're not going to have a long harsh line around your lips which I always recommend when you're using a lip pencil to kind of fill it in a little bit to avoid that but but I wanted the lip liners to pair well with pretty much all the lipsticks, but be able to tweak and manipulate them a little bit. So first we have Sweet Pea, which I think the name kind of describes it all. It's just sweet and pretty. <laughs> it's a rosy neutral pink, and I would say it's more on the lighter side of lip pencils. It kind of reminds me, if you are an old school Mac girl, it kind of reminds me of like a mix between Dervish and Whirl lip pencil to kind of create like that same like tone, but in between the two. So a little bit deeper than Dervish, a little bit lighter than Whirl. Um, and you get your kind of perfect rosy neutral pink. Next we have Warm Spice, and I really think that name describes this shade perfectly. It's just a beautiful kind of warm peachy brown. And this is a very like chameleon-like lip pencil. I've used this on lighter skin tones and it's very deep and then you know on deeper skin tones it's kind of like more of like a neutral nude lip. On myself it's going to be kind of right in the middle of the road but this is a great pencil to tweak or manipulate any of the like pinky lipsticks if you want them to be a little more peachy. This is a great great shade and if we're kind of referencing this to lip liners that you guys might know of off the top of your head, Spice from MAC, I, do you see how I always reference MAC Cosmetics? 
Spice lip pencil was probably the best selling lip pencil when I worked for Mac back in the day. I would maybe bet that it still is. I don't know, it was a long, long time ago, but that was like our number one selling lip pencil. This is very similar to Spice, maybe a tad deeper than that. Next we have Pink Lady, and this is a beautiful coral pink. So this is definitely a step up from Sweet Pea in terms of like impact and punch of color. It's more poppy, it's brighter, it's a great lip pencil, again, to kind of liven up or like brighten up a more nude muted lip. You can fill the lip in with this and add that lipstick on top and you're gonna get a totally different look from it. It's really gonna add a punch of color, pop of color, um, but done so in a wearable kind of neutral way. If you like corals or you like more bright shades, this is gonna pair well with those, but it's also gonna work well with more of your kind of subdued lip shades to kind of liven them up a little bit. Next we have Alter Ego and I named this Alter Ego because I feel like when I have a red lip on, a red lip and a smoky eye brings out my alter ego. It is totally transformative. It brings a level of confidence to me that is so interesting to get from makeup, to get from a product. This is a very deep, beautiful kind of wine red. It's very rich, it's very classic, it's a very wearable red. I feel like reds can be, you know, so particular, you know, per person, and they change on a lot of people, but I feel like there are certain shades that just work well on everybody when you're going for that rich, luxe, sophisticated red lip, and Alter Ego is that. You can totally use this to fill in your entire lip to create a red lip. You can also mix this with Passion. This is gonna pair really beautifully with Passion. You can also use this with Inner Beauty. Um, that, those would probably be the two that I would recommend for this one. It is just makes a statement of its own. It's so, so beautiful. If we're, let's, since we're on the topic of referencing MAC lipsticks or MAC products, if you remember the shade Dubonnet from MAC, it was a lipstick. That's kind of what Alter Ego gives me those vibes, just a like a classic beautiful red lip. And that's BK Beauty's first lipstick and lip liner launch. I'm so excited about this launch, you guys. We've been working on this for a very long time. We went back and forth with the formula and the texture. Like, I mean, it's probably, it's been over two years. It has been a long time. There's so much that goes into creating cosmetics and formulating and getting the right texture, ingredients, payoff, all of that component. There were so many details that went into this product and I'm excited to share it with you guys. I hope you love it as much as I do. Um, I'll have all the details in the description box. The liners will retail for $12. The lipstick will retail for $22. We will have bundles of the products available on the site for discounts if you pick up, you know, multiple shades or all the shades, all of that. Thank you guys so much for your support. You know, I know I say this in every single launch video, but um, I'm someone who truly believes in living in gratitude every day. I wake up every morning, I meditate, I have a gratitude journal, I write down what I'm grateful for. A lot of that is the same reoccurring thing every day. My family, my girls, my health, waking up today, having this day, having this life, being able to do something I love. I'm grateful for all those things. When I sit down and film these videos and I'm talking to you, I'm really overwhelmed by my gratitude for you guys because truly none of this would be possible without you. And I will never forget that. I was not I was, I was only able to launch BK Beauty because of your support and this community. And um, I'm so, so, so grateful for each of you. So grateful. So thank you so much. Um, I think that's all I have. Leave all your questions, comments in the comment section below. And I'm so excited. Thank you guys. I love you. Bye.